What is popping people and welcome back to another tattoo tips video. Today we are going to be talking about stencils. More specifically, we are going to be talking about whether it is good to go to the modern day tattoo stencil, that being iPad, or do you stick with your paper stencils and just carry on using this? What are the pros of this? What are the pros of this? Let's find out, let's go. Before we start this video, as always, if you are new around here, do not forget to subscribe. It is free. There is nothing stopping you. Even if you do not like this video or you get nothing from this video, you may get something from another video. Who knows? So subscribe. Also, do not forget to like this video. Likes really do help the channel. If you are wanting to become a member of my YouTube, memberships are enabled. However, you do not get any benefits with this membership. You are just supporting the channel. However, if you do want added benefits, then you could subscribe to my Patreon link in the description. You get access to a private Discord server where you get 100% my attention to ask any questions you want, get any critiques you want, yada yada yada, and a few extras depending on which tier you actually pick. So like I said, Patreon link in the description. Right, so I figured that the best way to do it would be to list off the pros and the cons of one of these bad boys first. So, straight in with the first pro. The first pro of an iPad, obviously, it's extremely portable. You can take this anywhere in your bag, do a stencil, anywhere you like you are not limited it is extremely portable which in my in my eyes is a massive massive pro if i'm going out anywhere i have actually done it where i have been going to like a family like party and um i needed to do my stencil for the next day boom took this along with me did my stencil right there and then the next pro of the iPad and using the iPad for stencils would be high res images. Compared against paper images, when you print out on paper, you can lose details. However, on an iPad, you do not lose those details. You have consistent clarity, high res throughout your entire process. But not only that, the next pro would be that you can zoom in on said image that you are working on. Whereas on paper, you know, the only real way to zoom on paper would be to like get really in close like this and what's that detail right there? Like, yeah. yeah, nah, it's bullshit. iPads, zoom in. Now another pro of the iPad would definitely be layers. You can have your image and then you can layer your stencil on top of that image. And if needed, you can turn off the visibility of your stencil layer and see your full image without lines getting in the way. For example, if I was to go with this image right here, this is an actual like paper stencil. I used paper stencils for like what, seven, eight years of my career? So for example, if I was to use this paper stencil right here and I wanted to see underneath the lip, like let's go with underneath this lip. If I have, I have lined underneath that lip. Now for me personally, cause that line is on that paper, I can't see the certain nuances of how that lip looks on the underneath of that line. So I may possibly just do 
a shadow that goes all the way underneath with a round shader, for example. But when I look at that on the iPad, I can see that a shadow doesn't go all the way underneath. The shadow may start on, on this side and then start you know, fading out and dropping off underneath that lip. So with an iPad, you can actually see that because you can get rid of those lines that you have put on top. It's really good. It's, 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 it's honestly, it's a, it's a really good, it's a really good pro that one. Now I know not everyone's like me, a freaking sheer perfectionist, and you might not care about that, but when it comes to my tattoos, I do. So it's a pro. The next pro on my list is that you can print, depending on the printer and depending on the app, straight from your iPad into your stencil machine. I think they're called pocket jets. So if you like using a pocket jet or something along those lines, you can print straight from your iPad straight through onto your pocket jet rather than printing your stencil out onto a piece of paper and putting it through a thermal copier, for example. Honestly, the best thing that I ever did was go to iPad. It's video over. Right, video over, see you in a bit. I jog, I jog, the video is not over until I've done these other pros. The next pro tip would be that when printing from an iPad onto thermal carbon paper, the carbon paper wraps around the area that you are tattooing so much better than paper will ever wrap. Now, when I was on paper stencils, I think this paper was around about 140 GSM. Now, 140 or 120 GSM, somewhere around that, I found gave me a good balance of being able to wrap the stencil around skin, but also it picked up the carbon pretty well. However, yes, on a iPad stencil, you print straight to the really thin of uh, spirit carbon paper, and it's just so much better. Now again, a pro of this is having the ease of everything in one place. So kind of like it being portable, and you can take it everywhere. So I guess it kind of like, like ties into that one, but everything is just in one place for you. You don't have to grab paper, you don't have to grab a print off, you don't have to grab some carbon paper, you don't have to take a pencil around with you or anything like that. These modern day, like it's just, it's just mind blowing what you can do these days with technology. Now obviously, now obviously, I can't keep rolling off pros on the iPad and the iPad pencil for stencils. There has got to be some cons. These things are pretty damn expensive. So you've got the cost of an iPad. This is like the smallest iPad as well. So if you went with like, the big daddy iPad, the 12.5 inch, because you want it to be a true baller, then you are looking at a good like thousand dollars, thousand pound right there. Plus then you've got your iPad pencil on top of that, which is another maybe hundred, something like that. I can't remember what I paid, but it's freaking expensive. But not only that, then you've got your app purchase of Procreate, which is, let's be honest, probably the most like modern app that you can use these days to do your stencils. And I think that is like 10 pound dollars, whatever, wherever you're from, whatever it is, be paying for that also. So to have the luxury of one of these, you are looking at a shit ton of money. But that is not all. You also have the fact that this is technology and technology can fail. An artist, I th actually think it's one of the artists that I work with, I can't remember, but her Procreate went down and she lost every single stencil that she'd ever done on 
procreate. Now that is really bad because sometimes you might need to use those stencils again if you've not finished the design off and you need to reprint and resize and stuff like that. So she lost every single stencil. Now I'm pretty sure she did get it back with an update or something like that, but you know, technology isn't always the best. It can crash, it can go wrong. And if it does go wrong, whew, you better hope it doesn't go wrong too bad. And then you've also got the stencil machine that you are using. You know, when you are on a paper stencil, you've just got paper and carbon, and that is it, and a pencil, and you are drawing on top of your paper, the carbon's picking it up. It's easy, it's so easy. But when you have a stencil machine, if your stencil machine isn't working, or I know, for example, on the stencil machine that I use sometimes, f me. Like, and that is swearing. Like, it takes me like nine to 10 stencils sometimes to get a good stencil from it because it's just not working. It's, God, it's so frustrating sometimes. Especially when you know that you have like a freaking nine hour tattoo to do and you are spending an hour of that nine hours messing around with a stencil machine. Now the pros of paper stencils. Um, um, well, they're pretty cheap. I mean, it's pretty cheap. Yeah. Yeah, it's a lot cheaper. And probably another pro would be that the carbon like picks up a lot better because what you can do is you can vary the pressure of your pencil to get less or more carbon on the back of that paper for a better stencil. Sometimes, which I forgot to mention on the cons of the iPad and the stencil machines, sometimes it doesn't print out the stencil as consistent as you need it. Whereas on paper, you can obviously get that consistency throughout your entire stencil. So you know that you have a bang on stencil every single time. Unfortunately, I think that's the only like pros that we've got from paper stencils. Like I can't think of anything else. Um, genuinely can't think of anything else for a pro for a paper stencil. Sorry. Now the cons of a paper stencil is obviously it's paper. It doesn't wrap around the skin so well so sometimes say you had a shoulder like oh my god oh god it brings back so many bad memories but say you had a shoulder and you want to put a like mandala right here and you try to do that with paper god damn good luck with that because we press the middle down and it just like crumbles all the way around and it's just bad and it just doesn't work so yes just doesn't fold around the body as well as you need it sometimes and it's rubbish the next con like i mentioned earlier is the clarity of the image that you get sometimes you can print out a image and it looks fine on screen but as soon as you print it out the printer prints it darker than what it looks like on screen so you lose details now there is a you know there's a quick fix around that you can just turn the opacity down on the image and print it out again and your image will come out less dark and you will you know retrieve some of those details that you was previously losing but essentially you are still going to lose the clarity of the image and the, the details of the image. They were a lot, lot harder to see. So to me, you, you don't get the best possible tattoo. And then there's just the fact that you just need to mess around more. 
like I said, you need your printout, then you need to mess around with your printout, bringing the opacity down to get the best possible image. You could print out on photo paper if you want, so you're printing out multiple images, but photo paper, yeah, eh, still not that great. So then you've got to carry your carbon paper around with you. Then you might need a clipboard depending on where you're putting it because you need a hard surface. Then you need your pencils to carry around with you. If you are using pencil, by the way, to do your stencils and you are still on paper stencils, use a hard lead because then you will keep your point on your pencil while you're going around to keep consistency in your lines on your stencil. So there's just there's just way too much, like it's just way, way too much to be messing around with constantly. And again, not only that, technology, printers can die. They really can die. I was doing paper stencils and my printer, like most printers these days are Wi-Fi, yeah? So like you've got your printer connected to your laptop or your PC or whatever, but if your Wi-Fi is down, then you can't use your printer if you've not got the cable to plug it in. So then you can't get your print off of your paper image for your stencil. So then it's just loads of messing about. It's loads of stress. It's not what you need. I've been there. Trust me. So the conclusion of this video is for me this. Four outweighs this by miles yes there is cons to this and there is cons to this but the you know what this brings to the table gives you everything that this does but more it just far outweighs the positives far outweigh the cons on ipad for me and I don't think that I will ever go back to paper stencils. It is good knowing that if I needed to go back to a paper stencil, said my iPad broke, like technology again going down, that I could do that and it is there as a backup. But guys, I 100% recommend purchasing one of these if you have the spare money. Please do not go out skinting yourself to buy one of these if you do not have the spare cash. Don't do that. Carry on using paper stencils. I, like I said, use these for seven, eight years. I've been using this for, for two years. So yeah, seven or eight years I was using paper stencils for. And yes, it has its cons. And sometimes, you know, you're gonna be, oh God, I've got a shoulder and this paper's gonna be terrible. This is gonna be so hard to get on. And But it works, it works. But guys, that is all for today. I hope you have enjoyed this video. Again, if you have enjoyed it, consider subscribing, like the video, drop a comment. Let me know whether you are still on paper or whether you are. Now, the modern day tattooer with your iPads, with your wireless machines, yada, yada, yada. But guys, I shall see you all in the next video. Peace.